I'll start. Um, so, if you could be a zombie in this show, would you want to be a zombie? <laughs> um, maybe uh, maybe season ten or <laughs> later on, but definitely not at this point. They gotta, you know, Clive represents the people. He represents us, you know. Um, so I think uh, I think it's fun to have this world existing underneath his nose that he has no idea about. So I think um, I think it'll be cool to milk that, uh, milk that for as long as, as long as it works. Cool. And do you think he's gonna end up finding out? I think eventually. I think eventually he's gonna have to. You know, with so many strange things happening around him, how he's gonna how he's gonna take it is gonna be really really interesting. I always say it's one of those things where. Um, you know, there's no way he would think, you know, zombie, you know, because the way zombies are represented on television and pop culture, they don't talk, you know, they don't communicate. And um, so that's why he would never ever just assume, wait a minute, you're a zombie. You know, that's a little, he would never go there first because we would never in life go there first, you but, know. But don't you, don't you think, you know, with all the zombie movies around, does it make your character seem stupid? He doesn't realize something is off the time. I think he may realize something is off, but I don't think he'll, I, he'll, I mean, he'll go, he'll think voodoo first or something, you know, before he goes to zombies, because if you think of zombies and Walking Dead, Night of Living Dead, these aren't functioning zombies, zombies don't communicate. Zombies don't have jobs, you know, and work at the morgue. And so that's exactly what he's dealing with, which is why that culture can't exist, because I only, you know, there's a lot of people who don't know. So it's, um, yeah, so, you know. So, so how, do you, how do you think this character will be? Will be at, or do you think he's going to find out in season two? I don't... I don't know. I don't think he'll find out. I think I think that's a little too soon. Obviously, it's not my decision. It's Rob's and Diane's decision. But I think um, if he if he does re, if he does find out, I think it's going to be a real world reaction. If, 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 if as if if you find out someone right next to you is a zombie for real, you'd be like, what? <laughs> you know. So I think he'll be. I think he'll trip. So last year, watching the performance between the two of you guys was really great. Her becoming kind of your sidekick, also watching out for each other. You know, there's just trust in the beginning and then really having that partnership. Yeah. Um, how do you think that's going to blow this season and you know, what is Rob and Diana told you in terms of where they want you guys to go because, you know, so much has changed now with Ward and how she's going to be able to operate. Is that going to affect how she's going to be able to operate in the year too? Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to create, and I think also another factor is the fact that he's on the major. The major being involved in, you know, the death of, um, you know, his uh, his lieutenant. Yeah. You know, so I think we'll, I think um, I don't think Bob will let that is going to let that go. Um, it's going to be interesting what happens with that. They haven't told me anything about where that goes, but um, I know it just doesn't go away. Um, um, but I think, um, so that may create some, some kind of conflict between um, um, Clive and, um, and Liv. But at the same time, you know, they do have a, you know, uh, their friendship precedes that. And, you know, their, um, I think it won't stop them from still um, solving cases and bringing the murder victims, you know, kill this justice. Do you think he'd be in a position ever that if he had to make a choice between his job and loyalty, um, once if he does find out then, I think so. I think Kyle Clive has proved that, you know, he can, you know, for example, you know, we, I think uh, in, in 112, when, he, when Liv kills, kills a guy, he goes, listen, don't, don't, don't worry about this, you know, if, 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 if that was your body, it'll, it, it'll be a problem. So he's letting that slide, you know, even in terms of, even when Lowell was killed. You know, I mean, he's concerned for it. So he, has, he does have, he is biased, and, and Clive is a ruler. I mean, which is how he got his bad reputation on the cover, which is why he's working by himself, because he was willing to cross the line um, in order to take down this gang. And it meant, you know, beating up his real partner at that particular time. You know, and it did give him a, uh, um, um, a bad reputation, because everyone was just like, I don't want to work with a guy who for his job and for justice may, you know, hurt me. He will do whatever it takes. So, um, you know, I think, you know, yeah. There was a moment where we thought you might have been a dirty job. Yeah. How, how would you have felt if that's the character choice that it made for you? Oh, I wouldn't like that. You know, I don't, you know, I mean, obviously I would have played it. I think it would have been fun. I'm glad it, uh, it, uh, 
you know, you know, I love that that Clive is honorable. So I think it would have taken it would have taken taken away some of that honor and his honesty and uh, his dedication. Um, but luckily they didn't do that. Luckily they didn't do that. You know, it just shows that he was committed to do whatever he needed to do to um, on that particular case. And obviously what he did, he did in that particular case, the extent he went to, it did give him that that bad reputation I was talking about. Um, but it was never, you know, you never look at him like this is a bad guy. You know, he just had to do what he had to do in order to save his life and his partner's life. Can you talk a little bit about what kind of time means to you and your character and your show? Or career and your show? Well, I mean, I love Comic Con because Comic Con is pretty much a celebration of of art, of comics, of television, of film, you know, of fantasy. Um, it's infectious, you know. I think it's a beautiful thing to a collective of people um, coming together, and you realize you're not alone and loving these things um, and these characters. So I think it's um. So it's um yeah, it's been it's been it's been great. It's been an honor to be here. And did did you consider yourself a nerd or anything before you came here, or did it just? Yeah, I'm more, I'm more of a tech nerd. I'm more of a I'm, I'm a guy. I build I, I build computers and I can build websites and I can do all this. I'm an editor, so I'm more of a technology geek. Uh, hardcore people, my castmates can tell you. you see, I can yeah. talk to you all day about that. Oh yeah, I, I can go in on that. I can go in on that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.